What I'm gonna do today, we're gonna go over with the flat iron and show you how a cut, a layer cut look when it's flat iron. I'm not gonna put too much tension heat on the hair because I don't like to do that. So when the hair is already cut and you've been shampooed and ready and set to, you know, set, you don't have to put a lot of heat because it should be already, you know, pretty much everything already in the cortex ready to go and broken down in the buns. Okay, with that being said, if you did not see the video, go back and you to the basic trim where I was doing a basic trim step by step and then we did some quick layers where you can charge $65. Now again, when I did this trim, I had told you guys that the hair should have been bone straight so you can actually guide, follow the guideline. So I'm gonna find out, I might have to trim a little bit more once I straighten her because I can't, you can never see when the hair is poofy or uh, overly curly. So always straighten the hair out when you're gonna do that layer cut or the trim cut that I had showed you guys. Again, she has lots of body. There is no uh, slit in on the hair. All the slit in is gone. So this gives this client advantage for her hair to grow four times faster than any other person hair that have not had a trim. Why? Because there's no dead hair on her hair. We have already got rid of it and cut it off. So we're gonna do a basic flat iron just to show you what layer cuts look like. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. Again, have your hair clips, have your comb, and your flat iron. Okay, it depends what texture the client's hair is. Make sure you know um, not to put it too high if the hair is thin. If the hair is really thick, turn the um, flat iron all the way up. If the hair has chemicals on it, which is a chemical straightener, try to keep it at a medium. Not low, not high, but right in the medium. That way you, you can protect yourself without burning the client hair because hair burns faster when it has chemicals on it. We're gonna go ahead, make sure you have your clips, part the client hair, you know, don't have to be all straight. She has nice body now. So when the hair been cut nice, it moves around, it runs from you. Clipping that hair up, I like to uh, do mine in three. Taking the clips, doing three layers. It helps me to move faster and also follow that guide as well. Like I said, if you didn't see the video, keep. But as long as you can cut the hair and set it with good shampoo and conditioner, you should not have to work hard in the shop at all. So with that being said, I have my flat iron. I'm going to take the first layer. I'm going to show you two ways. This is going to be without any uh, growth oil on it. Some people like no oils in their hair. But I do regardless. Even if I, if I don't spray it, I put a small amount in my hand and put it all over their head because... I'm into hair care, and I'm gonna protect my client hair by all means necessary. Okay, so got the flat iron. Basically, just taking it. We're not putting too much tension to it. Take the comb up under it. Wait a minute, I'm not for sure. It's not. It's not hot enough yet. Let me turn it up. Oh yeah. and take a small amount. The cone is still not hot. But you can see the, um, I'll get it hot fast. Go ahead and use some of this growth oil. We wanna mix it. And it spray out like that. This thing is spraying out like, just to put it on my hand. Put a seal on the client hair. Not too much, because we don't want it too oily. And actually, you can do that all over the head with just a dime size. Do that first. That way, you don't have to worry about the hair being uh, losing its body and being too oily. So, like I said, as you straighten out your client hair, come down. Once you to straighten it one time, then turn the flat iron. 
We could turn with the, we could curl with the flat iron as well too. When you curl with the flat iron, don't put a lot of tension. As you're going down, get looser. Turn it a little bit. Going towards the client face. As you can see, I didn't put a lot of tension. The hair has a lot of body to it. We're gonna see what the layer cut look like. She has a long layer cut. We saying this is natural hair. Always protect your client hair. Um, again, take the oil. She's not real, so I don't feel like going through the whole head. But go ahead and seal the hair off with the oil before you start your flat iron. That way you don't have to worry about the room smoking up and too hot. And you don't need a lot of, a lot of it. So with that being said, I'm curling, I'm straightening the hair first. Straighten the ends, they've been cut, they're nice and smooth. When I come back in, I'm gonna go towards her neck, putting a little bend to the hair towards her neck. We're not curling it, we're just giving that body look. Going into the next hairstyle, we see it's frizzy. We want to just straighten it out a little bit. I'm not even putting any tension into it. Once we get those ends straight how we want it, we come back, pull towards her neck. For those who's not good with the flat iron, let the comb be your guide. So they're where you want to burn your client. I'm gonna comb through it just to let you see. Look like the hair been wrapped already. It's going this way. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next layer. I'm gonna do this one with no oil at all. No growth oil. Get your flat iron. Make sure you have your comb to protect up under the hair. Once we got the hair straight, you probably want to hit it three times. Make sure the ends are straight like that. Remember, now take the flat iron kind of sideways, coming towards the client neck. Not curling it too much, just lightly. you're testing a, a growth oil on your client hair, some people have an oily base, some people have a dry base. Let's just say this client right here, she has a very dry base. So I definitely want to put some oil onto her hair, not a lot of it. As we go in, lightly bump it under, not a, a whole curl, because we're not curling. So I see the difference with, with the oil and without the oil. So with that being said, I'm gonna go through my client hair. Take the first layer. Keep forgetting you're not a real client. <laughs> okay. Putting your two spray of growth oil. This uh, dog head has thick hair. And then on top of that, the oil smells so good. Again, uh, if you already did your layer cut, like I said, um, try $65. It depends how long or how short they want it and how hard they're going to make you work. If they come in with hair already past their chest, you know, they already pretty much up to $75 because that's a lot of cutting. So remember, Go ahead, charge for the cut, and then that's not even including um, your, your work. Now you have to come in and do that flat iron. At that point, it depends on what your prices are running for. If the hair is this short, I'll go ahead and charge them an extra $65 just to come on in and flat iron their, their hair or their weave. Either one is gonna be. I'm still gonna charge. So pretty much, uh, 
if her hair wasn't that short, she would just be paying me a whole hundred dollars to just go ahead and layer her and uh, flat iron her. And that's a reasonable price for her to afford it and for me to be okay as well. Again, we're not doing curls. Pull the hair out, burly, burly bump it. The hair has a lot of body to it. That's what you want to impress the clients with, the body. People really don't care too much about a style, but if they can whip their head and that hair can shake, that's attitude. They would definitely be back for a good haircut. You can't see it, so I'm gonna go this way. So we're going towards the face. Not really curling it, but just kind of giving it a bump. And a lot of times, uh, the hair not trained, so when you blow dry, blow dry it the way you're gonna curl it. That's how I make my job easy. Of course, we didn't blow dry her, but if I would have blow dried her, I would have blow dried her that way, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. I'm gonna hit the front, turn it this way. Again, when you're curling the hair, if the hair is thick and you want the style to look good, don't take big chunks. You don't have to be a professional hairstylist to make somebody's hair look good. Long as you got good shears and a good flat iron and take your time, it can look good and then you'll start to master the rest. So again, we're coming towards the client face. Be careful. I use the comb for a guard, especially if you're not familiar with the flat iron. You see that? It went towards her face. It's kind of feathered already. I haven't used any hairspray. I don't like hairspray because I'm into natural that's toxic. So the less product I have to use, the better. Again, we want to go ahead and straighten the hair. We're pulling it straight. The next one, we're going to go ahead and again, take it towards the client's face. Not bending the hair too much. And it falls with the, the cut that you did. You can see that it's not greasy. It's going just the way I want it to go. When we finish, it should be nice and full with nice layers to it. You can actually see the difference of the straight hair with the hair that I already did. You can see how it's feathered from the cut, the layer itself already. See that? So if you can't, get, again, if you're not a master at cutting, follow the guide. And then flat iron the hair the way I'm telling you. And you will keep a customer and they'll tell the next customer. I'm going to finish this up and we're going to see what it look like. If you like this video, go ahead and give Queen's Natural Hair Care a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if there's anything that you need me to teach or talk about. I would love to entertain you. I'll be back. Tell me what you think when we finish the mannequin.